Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and today I've got another redstone tutorial for you. Today we're going to go over the horizontal piston feed tape and the vertical piston feed tape. And both of these designs are tileable, which is very nice, okay? So let's go take a look really quick here what I've got. You can see I've got the horizontal and I've got the vertical piston feed tapes. Now I am currently in playing in Snapshot 20W18A, which is leading up to the 1.16 release. This should work in 1.15, uh, but I thought I would be look forward to 1.16 and make sure the things that I'm working on work with that. So this should work with 1.16, but things may change. Just letting you know, okay? So basically what goes on here is if you flip the little lever, in essence, changing the state of this powered rail, they will move, okay? And you can see it's moving there. You can see these blocks are moving. It's kind of cool, huh? And you can see that's also moving up here. See there too, they're just offset from the corner. If I flip the switch, now the diamond blocks are in the corner. And the same thing for the vertical version. It does the exact same thing. And because these are tileable, all you need to do is replicate this layer and you can make many of these work at the same time. Same thing with these over here. So let's get to the tutorial part. I want to show you how to build these and I hope they'll be useful in some of your builds. Let's get started with the horizontal piston feed tape. Okay, so we're gonna go up two blocks. We're gonna put a piston facing outward. Okay, now I'm gonna place in some temporary blocks. That'll be the uh, blocks that would normally be moved. We're gonna put four of these. Those are the four blocks that we moved. Normally there would be an open spot here. We're gonna put a block just for temporarily so we can put some pistons down and things. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna put a piston facing this way. Okay, then we're gonna fill up the rest of this row with four more blocks and take that out, okay? So basically you've got here, this piston would normally would fire, pushing this whole chain this way. And of course, then that spot would fill. Then this piston would push the whole thing that way, okay? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So now we're gonna basically put the other side in here. We're gonna do the pistons here like that. And again, this is four blocks. So there's one, two, three, four. Then our spacer block, which will be that corner. We just put one temporarily here. Let's put a piston down like that. Okay, and then we just bring this across and take this out. There you go. So basically you have a three by three internal square. These pistons that are opposite corners are have the block against them. These pistons that are the opposite corners have a space, okay? And you can take a look at that. That should be pretty easy for you to make. Now we need to connect these sides up because what has to happen is this side here has to push first and then this side will then push after that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an observer and we're gonna face into that. Okay, it's gonna detect a signal from that, or that's not a signal, detect the change of the piston from there. And then we're gonna have observers going all the way this way. Okay, just like that. That way, when this fires, this one will fire. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, that makes it pretty darn easy. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm gonna remove these blocks because this thing tends to fire on its own while you're building this, and I don't want to destroy itself, so we're gonna do that, okay? Now down here, we're gonna put the control mechanism here, okay? Basically, it goes all the way out to here, and we're going to put on powered rails, okay? And I'm going to put a switch down here, I mean a lever, so that way you can turn it on and off, which is basically changing the state of this right there, okay? So now, what we want to do is we want to have an observer facing downward, okay? And then you want to have a something looking into that, an observer looking into that, right, like that. Same thing over here, and an observer looking into that. Okay, so the observer is seeing the change and the signal's passed on down. So basically now, if I hit this switch, this lever, you can see that these two pistons fire first and then the other ones fire after. Okay, and that's pretty cool. Now, if we put in some blocks here, let's start with like some, let's put a diamond block so we can kind of see it. Okay, and on this side, let's put a diamond block here. And there's our space that we always got to remember to have on that corner. Okay. And there we go. So that's the system. So every time you flip this lever, the tape should move. And you can see that's going on right now. You can see that the diamond is moving around the circle and so is this other diamond block here. There you go. That is a pretty easy system. Now all you have to do then to replicate this and do another layer is just you just put it in the observer. So we can put another observer down right here and here. Make sure we look into them right here and here. I'm doing this kind of quickly on the fly here. Put our pistons down there, there. And of course we can put one, oh, that's the wrong right direction. There and there, okay. And then you just put your observer chains here. Here we go, oops. Nope, nope, nope. 
Oh, okay, like that. There we go. Again, observing. And then the chain. And there, that thing is built, and we'll just do something else so we can kind of see it again. Put blocks on top of all of these. Okay, and there we are. It's scalable, tileable, horizontal. So now we can just watch this go. And you can see that's there and there. If we hit the flip the switch. So then all you need to do, if you want to automate this and make it kind of run for a while, you've run some sort of uh, toggleable circuit in here that just keeps on going back and forth. And that's how that works. This is a pretty easy design for horizontal piston tapes. Now I'm going to go over and we're going to work on the vertical style of this system. Let's work on this vertical piston feed tape. Okay, I'm going to work on the control mechanism first instead of doing the feed tape first. Okay, so we're going to go up three blocks and then I'm going to start a four block line here. And then we're going to go up one and go over three. Okay, so basically you don't need those. This is the control line and we're going to put power rails on this just like this. And we're going to put the lever, okay? And that's how you toggle, just like we toggled that. That will be the same thing, okay? So now I'm going to build two of these rows just so you can see the tileable at the same time. So we want two observers facing on the side of that rail like that, okay? And the same thing over here. This is reading the signal from the powered rails into our system, okay? Now, on this side here, we're going to go look up at this and do two rows here, okay? Just like that. And then we're going to have our pistons. We're going to put them and they should be facing to the side. There we go. Now, this line has to be taken all the way over to here. Okay, because if you've imagined this is here, I'm going to put in the imaginary blocks. Okay, there's going to be a space here. I'll put this as a spacer. And then it's going to go up four more. Just like we did over there, okay? And so on this line right here, we need to have a piston facing upward. Okay, and that's what we're trying to get to uh, with this line here. So let me do that. Here we go. Okay, oh, there we go. So those are there, okay? Does that make sense so far? So now we wanna run this line of observers into this, okay? So here we have to go again, go look downward real quick so that we can then put in these observers that are observing that and then get out of here. Let's fill in our hole, don't want any divots. And then just run the observers into those pistons, okay? And there we go. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put a diamond here just so we can kind of see it. And I'm gonna fill in the other side really quick so we can kind of uh, can see that as well, okay? And we'll put a diamond up here on this block so that way we can see it when we move it around, okay? Now, this side is very similar over here, okay? We have this observer seeing this. Now, because of this corner, it's flush with it, we need to have the pistons right here, okay? So let's do this real quick. And we have the pistons there. They're gonna be pushing that way. Just like that, okay? Now we need to have the observer, so we'll have one looking down at that observer right there and one looking down right there, and they're feeding up into that, right? Okay, and now we have to do the last piston, so we put the two observers here, and we're gonna have a chain of these going over, okay? So let's go over one, two, three, four, and here's our spacer block, okay? And that's, again, the spacer block, and on top of those, we need to have our pistons, okay? Here we go. Oops, gotta be facing downward. And facing downward, there we go, okay? And then we gotta run the observers into that. Here we go. Like that, and like that, okay? So now, if you can see here, we got four, four. Again, these are the spacers here, and we'll put in the rest of these blocks. And there you go. The same thing as the horizontal, but it looks like this, okay? So now I'm going to flip the switch and you can see the diamond block here and up in that other corner will move. Like that, they moved a block. And there you go. So these are two, these are two tileable piston feed tapes, one in a kind of a horizontal layout and one in a vertical layout, okay? Well, there you go, guys. There's how to build the horizontal and the vertical piston feed tapes. I sure hope you like this video. If you do, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all of the notifications, okay? Thanks guys, have a great day, bye-bye.